All right, so we've got the grease heated up to about 350 degrees, 375 degrees. Got some chicken that I breaded. And um, let me just show you how we did that. So we've got some Boar's Night Out double garlic butter white lightning, breadcrumbs, flour, and we've got some chicken breast here that's been pretty well pat dried, an egg. So let's go ahead and do this. What I want to do first, this really isn't a recipe. Just use whatever seasoning you want, and we're going to go ahead and coat this chicken real nice with this good flavorful seasoning all over it. And we do have it dry so that it'll all work better. Just really coat it good. Then we're just going to take this straight into the flour. Coat that flour real nice. Look at that. From the flour, we're going to go on into the egg. That I, This is two eggs. And from there, straight into, bring this over here, straight into the breadcrumbs. Go ahead, one more time, go back to the flour, back into the egg, back into the breadcrumbs. There we go. We got them both breaded up nicely. I'm going to go ahead and set these aside. Just let them stay like that for a bit while I get some grease heated. All right. So let's go ahead and put these uh, chicken right in here. Put this on the uh, Camp Chef. Got vegetable grease in here. And I figure about four or five minutes per side. We're going to make chicken sandwiches today. And I'm going to go ahead and be adding some of this to it uh, when they get done. If you don't have the Carolina Reaper wing sauce, you can use, I've used Red Hot. What is it? Is it the Red Hot? Red Hot sauce works well with this. Um, so we're going to cook this. The temperature of the grease right now is... We're at about 300 and what's that say? Three, 360 degrees. So, yeah, we're just going to let this cook up, up for just a little bit. So we're back, it's cooked. Check this out, the chicken has been fried to 165 plus. Ooh, looks beautiful on the grease. I've got some buns that we threw in the toaster. So we've got some toasted buns and some veggies. And of course, the Carolina Reaper a sauce, which we're gonna go ahead and add to it. But let me just go ahead and pour this in here. Just a little bit of it. And what I'm going to do is take one of these pieces of chicken here. Look at that. Nice, big yeah, chicken. Yeah, big. <laughs> you need a bigger bun, babe. Oh, I like it. <laughs> I like a bigger meat than bun. Hey, let's go ahead <laughs> and brush this sauce. Use whatever sauce you have. Or don't use any sauce at all. But I want to just coat this up. Oh, I could smell it already. And then we're going to flip it. And because I toasted the bun, hopefully that'll keep it from that sauce getting it too soggy. And it locks in the, keeps it from sogging up a little bit. Just put that one there. Nice. That's actually a good idea. Put it on that instead mm -hmm. of the bun. Yep. Like that. And now let's assemble it about a piece of uh, tomato. A little bit of a lettuce. And some pickles. Throw them pickles right up under here. Uh, fresh pickles. Right there. Right there. Throw this 
this one on top. And, and look at that. Does that not look beautiful? You can see the steam coming off of it. Should we cut? We need to cut this in half. Right here, like crunch. Crunching, yeah. That's what all we want all the way through. Look at that. That looks phenomenal. This is the Carolina Reaper wing sauce yeah, added. Okay, here we go. Mm. Mm. That is excellent, man. It, it's one of those things when if you ever eat something and then once you eat it, you feel like, oh, I'm hungry now. That's this. And that Carolina Reaper wing sauce, which is right here, has a nice little kick, not too much. Uh, the chickens cook really good. All uh, the pickles, the tomatoes. Add whatever you want to it. Make it your way. This is my way. That seasoning. Ah, oh, it's so good.